What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is the first episode of Urban Tales. We go through small fictional horror stories for your enjoyment. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Sit back, relax and enjoy. I have to tell you about that Friday night that changed my life forever. It started like any other Friday at my sneaker shop on the outskirts of town. Business was slow as usual, but I didn't mind. See, I loved the quiet, the smell of fresh rubber and leather, and the soft hum from the fluorescent lights. It was getting late around 9 o'clock, and I was about to close up when the bell of the door jingled. A man walked in and he was tall with a gaunt face and eyes that seemed too dark to reflect any light. He wore a long black coat that seemed to be out of place for the mild weather we were having. Uh, looking for anything in particular? I asked him, trying to sound cheerful but his presence made me uneasy. He didn't answer immediately and instead he just slowly scanned the shelves his eyes were lingering on each pair of sneakers that I had as if he was searching for something very specific. Finally he turned to me and he spoke in a low, almost whispery voice. Do you have the urinals? I've never heard of such sneaker. I'm sorry but we don't have that brand. Are you sure that's the right name? He smiled but it wasn't a friendly smile. Oh I'm quite sure. The urinals are very special. They show you things, dreams, or perhaps nightmares, depending on how you look at them. Now my curiosity was sparked, despite my growing discomfort. I've never heard of them. Where did you last see them? He stepped closer and I could feel the temperature in the room drop. They find you when the time is right, he says. And then he turned around and he left the shop without saying another word. I watched him disappear into the night and as soon as he was gone, I locked the door and I pulled down the shore. But my mind wouldn't let go of what he said. I spent the next hour searching online for any mention of this arena sneaker. But there was none. Frustrated, I decided to call it a night. I was about to leave when I noticed something strange. A pair of sneakers sitting on the shelf in the corner caught my eye. They were unlike anything I've ever seen before. The pattern seemed to shift and move when I looked at them directly. I hadn't put them there and I was sure they weren't a part of my inventory. Against my better judgement I decided to try these on. They fit perfectly, like they were made for me. As soon as I laced them up a wave of dizziness washed over me and I had to sit down. The shop around me began to blur and fade and before I knew it, I was somewhere else. I found myself in a dark, misty forest. The trees were tall and twisted. The branches were reaching out like skeleton fingers. The ground was covered in a thick layer of fog and the air was heavy with the scent of decay. I tried to move, but the sneaker seemed to have me rooted to the spot. But then suddenly, I heard whispers all around me. They were soft at first, but they grew louder and more instant. I couldn't make out what they were saying, but the tone was menacing. So panic set in, and I struggled to take these sneakers off, but they wouldn't budge. Then out of the fog, figures began to emerge. They were pale with hollow eyes and twisted contour faces. They moved slowly towards me, and their whispers grew louder and more frantic. I tried to scream, but nothing would come out. I was trapped, paralyzed by fear. Just when I thought they would reach me, I snapped back into reality, and I was back in my shop. Drenched in sweat and gasping for air, the sneakers were still on my feet, but now they looked old and worn, as if they had been through a hundred lifetimes. I tore them off and I threw them straight across the room. As they landed, I could have swore I heard a faint sigh as they hit the ground. I didn't sleep that night. 
The faces of those figures haunted my every thought, their whispers echoing through my mind. The next day I took the sneakers and I buried them deep in the woods, far away from my shop. I hoped that that would be the end of it, but the nightmares persisted. Every night I found myself back in that forest, surrounded by those haunting figures. I eventually had to close the shop. The nightmares were too much, and I couldn't bear to be near those sneakers. Even though they were long gone, I tried to move on, but no matter where I go, I can't escape the feeling that I'm being watched. That these sneakers are still out there, waiting on me. So if you ever come across a pair of sneakers that seem too perfect, take my advice. Leave them be. Some dreams aren't worth a price.